Radio Power. How's it going, guys? Great. Today we have a ton of tips for some of the hottest titles around. We'll check in with Robocop, Spider-Man, Bigfoot, and a boy in his blob. Then we'll visit the land of the Phantom Fighter and catch a great quirky power team adventure. First, let's get the Video Power Edge. <laughs> The first tip is from Game Players Magazine for Robocop for the NES. Here we learn how to get the crook to release the mayor. As soon as you walk in, move up a little and duck. When the crook fires, jump up and aim for his head. Once the mayor has escaped, you can now move to the left. Then go get the crook. Here's another quick tip for playing the amazing Spider-Man on Game Boy. This is the Green Goblin. You could die from this guy, so the trick is to stay on the very edge of the roof and kick straight out. Make sure you get to him before his bombs get to you or your history. The Rhino is one awesome opponent, but your speed is a match for his strength. A series of quick punches will prevent him from getting a running start. Next up is a couple of quick tips for the boy and his blob. In order to get this huge diamond, feed your blob tangerine jelly beans to turn him into a trampoline. Then make sure he's positioned directly under the diamond. Then bounce until you can get high enough to reach it. Here's another blob tip. Don't even let one of those cherries hit the ground, because if you do, boom! So carefully time your steps under the marshmallows. Then use your Vital Blaster's vitamin C on those cherries. Today's edge will finish up with Bigfoot for NES. Quick tip, pay attention. Shift up for added speed on the straightaways and downshift when you're climbing hills or slogging through mud. Here's another good one. Don't just beat the other driver, bankrupt him. If you take him out early and he's too broke to get back in the race, you'll have lots of extra time to collect more prize money. That's your edge for today, your video power edge. Okay, we're gonna chill for a bit and watch a power team episode. But when we come back, We've got Psychosis and Phantom Fighter to discuss. Right now, let's see what happens to our guys when a Hollywood movie crew comes to Milburg. Action. Did you have any doubt the power team would crush Big and his silly plan? Hey, I've got an idea. Let's do a double header video power review. In this review, we're going to get weird with Psychosis for the TurboGrafx-16. Like I said, Psychosis is truly weird. The object of the game is to get out of your mind. Now, you gotta admit, that is a little weird. In this scene, the Devil Ugar has trapped you. You'll have to make your way through five stages. In this game, they're called Causes. You start this game with only three vehicles. So you've really got to rack up the points in order to get more. You're going to need them because when you're out of vehicles, you're through. Psychosis has loads of special weapons that you need to collect in order to increase your fighting potential. Their speed, the white beam, thunder, the black laser, and the barrier. But the most important weapon is the satellite. It's not just a weapon, though. You can also use it to defend against enemy bullets. Without a satellite, it's almost impossible to increase your power. Any word? Weird. But I like weird. That's true. You do look weird. Not look like. Man, you're so weird. Hey, I'm not weird. You're the weird one. You're the one who said you liked the game. What? Are you telling me you didn't like it? No, I like it. I like weird. Oh, that is this too is weird, too weird for me. For me. And now, Phantom Fighter for NES. It's a cool kung fu game that starts you out as Kindu. He's our hero. It's up to him to save the village from the Kyunshis. Actually, there's eight villages to guard, and each one of them has houses, temples, graveyards, and a kung fu training school. The temple is for rest and peace. The school is for training and fighting. When you're fighting a Kyunshi, you have to keep track of both his life energy and yours. If yours runs out first, party's over. Look at these different Kyunshires. There are nine of them in all, and one, the baby Kyunshi, can be turned into your friend. I like Phantom Fighter. It's pretty cool. So check out Phantom Fighter. Well, uh, time's up again, and I almost forgot to tell you what's on for tomorrow. Days of Thunder, Top Gun 2, and a major look at Total Recall. That's video power. Game over. No messages? Huh. Good. Okay. Now that's video power. 
So World Series Week continues with show number two. And today we're gonna put the spotlight on a game called Little League Baseball. Sounds like fun, but we've also got a power team adventure and a super video power edge segment just on Super Mario 3. There's a lot of stuff to cover today, guys, so let's get right into it and open up with the Little League Baseball Video Power Review. Man, I don't know about you guys, but I can remember Little League Baseball being around forever. You know, I was actually pretty good when I played Little League. I started each time. Okay, so what if my dad was the coach? It was still a lot of fun. And so is this game. Bunting is a major offensive weapon. Keep laying down bunts until the computer gets wise to your plan. Little League Baseball lets you make a lot of small adjustments in where you stand in the batter's box, how you swing at low pitches, and where you set up on the pitching rubber. You can even adjust your swing to react to high, low, inside, and outside pitches. The bean ball, be careful not to pitch too tight. This Little League Baseball has big league action. Yeah, but the color graphics are the best parts. Man, you don't know what you're saying. What are you doing coming into my show, busting my chops, huh? Oh, man, this isn't your show. It's my show. It's a deep one. It's going. It's going. It's gone. <sighs> Told you it was my show. Well, all right. How about kicking back for a while before we begin our Super Mario Brothers 3 Edge segment? Let's see another Power Team adventure, huh? What do you say? Let's roll. Oh, that Power Team is just too intense for me, man. They just continue to amaze me. And speaking of amazing, there's a pretty amazing game that a lot of you guys have been playing lately. I think it deserves a special Video Power Edge. Today, Video Power gives you the edge for Super Mario Bros. 3 for the NES, and it's loaded with impossible challenges. But where there's a challenge, there's also a solution. In World 3, Level 7, here's how to get to Coin Heaven. You have to avoid the spike balls that Spike is trying to bond you with. Keep moving. Don't get up on the cloud platform. Make the magic block appear, then spring off it, and you'll find yourself in Coin Heaven. Right all the way to the end of the world, collecting all the free coins you possibly can. And what about some of those whacked out new enemies you have to face? Pretty tough, huh? Well, maybe this will help. You know that fire snake in the desert? Just pound him with a raccoon tail and you'll be safe. And in World 2, Level 3, there's a great tip that'll get you a bunch of coins and a one-up. Just to the left of the second pyramid, jump from the lower magical note block diagonally onto the three invisible blocks and then up to the switch block in the sky. This will give you a giant load of coins and don't forget to pick up the free one up. Last tip. Here's how to escape the arch in World 5, Level 1. You'll need to be a raccoon Mario here so you can sky up and thump the switch block. Grab all 38 silver coins in each number three that appears under the arch. Now fly up, break the blocks, and you're free. These were just a few tips to help you improve your Mario 3 scores. I'll be coming back to this game again. But for now, practice what you learned today and get the video power edge. Well, this show really blew by in a hurry. Tomorrow, our World Series Week feature continues with a full review of Tommy Lasorda Baseball, as well as a preview of The Punisher and some talk about Air Fortress and Double Dragon 2. And remember, send in your pictures, drawings, tips, and hints to the Video Power Bulletin Board. I'm done for now. That's Video Power. Video Power, P.O. Box 896, Madison Square Station, New York, New York, 101.5. Game.